Hello, my homies. One smart cat doing some idle showdown. Now, this is a very interesting game that I had no intention on ever making a video on until I played it. And it is actually a very good fighting game. So, if you have no idea what this is, some fans got together and they made a VTuber fighting game. I'm just going to assume you know what a VTuber is because they're all over the place. I mean, I'm not technically a VTuber, but I do use an avatar and like VTubers have, you know, face animated avatars and all that jazz. Not really going to get into any of that, but the fighting game itself is very, very, very good. And not only is it good, it's good for beginners and it's good for more advanced players. I will have a timestamp in the description. So if there's anything specific that you want to jump to, if you just want to see matches and all that, go right ahead. Let me tell you some of the stuff why this game is so good, both for beginners and for more advanced people. Let's jump towards the training. Uh, the art is very good altogether. I don't know who all of these people are because they are mostly early generation Japanese VTubers. And I only really got into any of the VTubers that were like Hollow Live English and stuff like that. I haven't really watched any of them recently, but I dig the concept. I don't have an issue with it. So these are the idols that we have. Let me go ahead and make myself smaller. Um, I, like I said, I don't know who all of them are. I think the only one I really know is Corona. Uh, she's like a little dog girl. <laughs> and I know Sora's like supposed to be like from early generation, like one or, generation one or two. So she's been around for a really long time. Um, if anybody's really into VTubers, I'm sure they'll be mad that I don't know their main ones but the cool thing the first cool thing about this as a fighting game is the fact that each and every one of these people fight very 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 different than anybody else next to them not only that but whenever you pick one of them you get a collab which means you get somebody you get another character that's in the background and all of these characters are completely different from the actual core fighters. Like these, there's a whole nother set of people who are in the background. And each one of them has two assist moves that you're able to get. And each of the assist moves are completely different than anybody else's. So depending on who you pick for your main and who you pick for your assist, it allows for a lot of different options just right off, like just right there starting off the bat. So for Buki is the person that I've been putting the most time into. And uh, as my collab, I just picked anybody. All right, so quick overview of what's going on. You have a back dash, you have a forward dash that can be a run, which means high mobility for trying to keep up with uh, combos and stuff like that. The way the special moves work are with quarter circles. So quarter circle forward, quarter circle back, stuff like that. That's for the more advanced people or people who are used to fighting games. The game also allows single button uh, specials. So there's a light, medium, and heavy attack. And then there's a special button. So if you push the special button, it does that. And that is the same thing as uh, down to forward uh, light punch. So I did one of those with the down to forward and I did the other one with just the button press. Now the button press is good for new players who aren't used to doing quarter circle stuff. But the trade off here is that bar that's on the top, the rainbow bar above the yellow bar. The only way to fill that up is by doing the actual move movements, the quarter circle forward and like all that stuff. If you just push the button to do the special, it does not fill that meter that's on the top. And that meter that's on the top is how you call in your 
collab partner. He was able to do a bunch of different things. <laughs> like this one will walk around and she'll fall over on uh, the opponent and stutter him and do damage. So the only way to get that bar up is by actually learning how to do the moves, which is a cool little trade off. Either you can use the special move button to do the moves easy, but you'll never get to use your collab partner. Or you can, you know, learn how to do the special moves and get an extra ability, basically. Now, the yellow bar on the bottom, you get that by basically the stuff that you would usually get it from in a fighting game, either by doing damage or by taking damage. And whenever you build that up, you're able to do your special moves with the heavy button that will have different properties. And those, each one of those will take up the bar. The Whenever you have two yellow bars, you can do your ultimate. So all of that being said, the combo progression system goes from light, medium, heavy. So whenever you do a light attack, then you can do a light, medium and they'll connect or you can do a medium heavy and they'll connect and with that progression you can do light medium heavy and all of them will connect so the combo system is relatively simple but once you get the hang of it you can do some really really cool shit So once you get the hang of the combo system, and this is with a uh, full meter and everything. So in order to do stuff that like I'm about to do, you do need full meter to work it all out. That was a little more, a little more than a quarter health bar off of that. And that's just like the beginning of the stuff that you're able to do. Because each time that you do a regular move or anything like that, you can cancel it into a special move. So there is a lot of options for combinations. And then once again, beyond that, depending on what uh, collab you do, whoever your backup is, there's some backups that are able to slow down time. There's some backups that are able to uh, do like ground air missiles. There's a whole scale of different abilities that can alter what your main character does. So there are a lot of options in this game. So all of that being said, the online does feel very good uh, whenever you're playing against like a buddy or somebody over private rooms. Uh, the game does have rollback netcode, which is amazing for this game to start to come out of the gate with that. Uh, basically, what that does is it just makes it so that the input lag is low, and you, it should feel like you're it should feel like you're playing with somebody in the same room. That's the way it's supposed to feel like, at least. But the servers in this game are not completely stable. Um, this game did only come out a few days ago and the servers will get better but for this video i'm just gonna play against a computer i'm gonna play against a hard computer and let's see what happens all right so we got me and my fubuki against ayami ayami is like a ninja character who is very very fast honestly so we'll all right let's see how this goes this is the first time I've tried the PC on the PC, the computer on hard. Uh, I've actually just been playing this game with my friends, um, having having a lot of fun, honestly, playing with my buds. Uh, so let's see how good the PC is. Oh, that wall bounce, though. I didn't... 
I didn't do anything with that wall bounce. It, it was nice, yeah. Ooh. That blade is so that blade has so much fucking range. Yeah, she just blocks everything. She was just she was like auto blocking all of my shit on that one. All right, come on. Ooh, fucking came out strong out of the gate. Ooh, ooh. I got her. At least I got with the ultimate. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Cut it down a little bit. Wall bounce, sir. That knife is so. Get off me. You do have a burst break. Probably my collab. Try to keep her in the corner. Collab, help! Oh, <laughs> the collab saved me. Yeah, keep falling on it. Get it. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, so Victory. so the AI is uh, decent. That was that was honestly a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, so that's just a little taste of Idol Showdown, a game that is a lot better than. I I had no expectations of this game and it's actually a very, very 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 good fighting game I'll probably do one more video of this um, just showing everybody's ultimates and all that stuff just because I think people would like that video so beyond that um, hopefully you enjoyed it uh, I guess I should point out that this game is free on Steam because it is a fan made game so they can't really monetize it because I mean, none of this stuff is like their material, I guess, but good job on them. You know, they made they made it an amazing game. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll see you in another one of my videos and we.